Target spotted. Welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. This is the video I wanted to make last week, because this is the Mainz, the Tier H German premium light cruiser. I couldn't make it last week because I had either connection issues or there were some form of server issues, I'm not sure. But I just couldn't get any footage recorded because, you know, it was too bad. So here we are. A little late, but here we are. Now, the mines almost existed, probably not under this name, but um, after the Treaty of Versailles was officially, you know, gotten rid of by the Germans, and they just decided not to follow it anymore officially, whereas before they had stopped to follow it inofficially, uh, they made a special treaty with the British, the Anglo-German Naval Treaty thing, I think was it was called. Anyway, that, that allowed them a tonnage of 50,000 tons of heavy cruisers. Now, the British had decided that heavy cruisers were things with 200mm guns and light cruisers were things with 150mm guns. Initially, th this is how the Germans got to the Admiral Hipper class. Now, initially, uh, they were planning to build, I think, three Hipper class ships with 200mm and two of them with 150mm. And this is what this is. Now, they ended up not doing it and built all of them with the 200 millimeters. Well, those said they completed. And we actually have two more Admiral Hippers in the game. The Admiral Hipper herself and the Prince Eugen, the premiums, the, the premium heavy cruiser. So what is this thing then, if you say it's, a, it's an Admiral Hipper class? Well, it, it says Mines class here in game, right? It, it really isn't because this is, this is the whole of an Admiral Hipper class cruiser. It is actually absolutely identical to the TI-8 heavy cruiser in the tech tree line, or to the Prince Eugen, if you want. The guns, though, are different. So let's, let's quickly go through the statistics. Uh, we have a very sturdy ship, 33,000 hit points, and a, re a really reasonable amount of armor. So even though this is a light cruiser, the light here refers to the gun caliber, not to <laughs> the actual ship. Because that's not, it's a hipper. Uh, she is reasonably quick, uh, okay-ish maneuverable, just like a, uh, just like her, her sisters. But the guns, well, these guns, we've seen these before. 
We've seen these at tier 6, because these are the Nuremberg's guns. It's just that she's got another turret. So we've got four turret, four turrets, two four, two aft, with the Nuremberg's 150mm main guns. And I mean, these are great main guns at tier 6. <laughs> but now we're at tier 8. So how's that going to work? Oh well, we'll find out. Anyway, uh, so the the same the the absolute same uh, very excellent 150 millimeter light cruiser guns in uh, in the four triple turrets for 12 all in all. As you, if you've ever played the Nuremberg or any of the German light cruisers, might know, the high explosive isn't great, and you mostly don't use it. The armor piercing, on the other hand, is uh, really really effective. She has torpedoes. She actually gets more torpedoes than the Hipper. I think the Hipper gets four triple launchers and she gets four quad launchers. Um, these are your standard off-the-shelf German torpedoes. The only reason they have a range of 5.6 kilometers here is because I've got the historical camo on the ship. She also has a relatively reasonable AA, again, uh, similar to what you have on the Hipper and, and the Prince Eugen. The Pr Prince Eugen, I think, actually gets the defensive AA strip skill. And it's the same story here. So while, while it's not an American cruiser, she can definitely, um, you know, take, some, t take down some of the planes. Uh, surface detection is somewhere in the middle range. Not an extremely stealthy ship. But if we're looking at the elite ship bonus, it again becomes relatively clear. It's the same as you find on the other German heavy cruisers. And we can, I've, I've here taken the same, the same bonus that I have on the Hipper and on everything else, which is the improved armor. Because for me, these are brawler ships. These are not long range snipey kind of ships. These are brawlers. Because they have good torpedoes and they're sturdy and they're German. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that's why. So... In terms of details, we actually we get uh, sonars, we get a rapid reload, which is very uncharacteristic for German ships, and we get an air defense alert, which again is usually usually you get sonar and precise aiming with these things. Uh, in this case, not so much. The guns are reasonably accurate, uh, so this allows us to go for the equipment, and instead of using the precision mod, actually use the main battery mod one for better turret rotation. And again, this is because um, I'm brawling in this thing. So it's a very strange light cruiser. You usually wouldn't necessarily brawl in a light cruiser at tier eight, <laughs> but uh, uh, in one of these things, given that it's it, it's a hipper underneath and it's it's a Nuremberg on top only, you can actually do that. I have the second slot in the propulsion mod. Uh, the Nuremberg I have with double steering, and I would kind of have liked double steering here as well, but. Um, this is tier 8. <laughs> it's not tier 6 anymore. You get into tier 9 battles with this thing. So you do have to play slightly differently. The third slot is most firmly on the steering gear mod, because like all German ships, she is a little bit on the sluggish side, or can be a little bit on the sluggish side. Uh, she's not your nimble, almost destroyer that you find in the mid-tiers, but it's a hipper. <laughs> so she turns like one as well, uh, just with different guns. Uh, which brings us to, well, let's have a quick look at the, at the commander. I've put him up to level 9. Uh, we've got the underwater protection. Actually took taken the battlefield uh, support because you do have both sonar and AA. So it makes sense to actually take that skill. Artillery maintenance, air defense expert. This is a bit unfortunate because um, you can again go down two paths. You can either use this ship as a captain trainer but she doesn't match the heavy cruiser line <laughs> very well because except for the sonar um, the hipper will get um, will get precise aiming where she gets a rapid reload uh, she doesn't match she doesn't even match the um, any of the other ones easily so it's a it's a bit of a it's a bit of a tricky one um, well the fire supremacy skill still makes sense because uh, you can use it to get an additional precise aiming or an additional Rapid reload. So in this case, it's it's not terrible. But when it uh, uh, when you when you come up here, you're gonna have to deal with the master reloader skill, which really doesn't make any sense for any of the other German ships. So this is not a captain trainer per se, because she does have a somewhat different uh, somewhat different setup. 
I've got the extinguisher here, by the way, because well, she is a German ship, and she does tend to get she does tend to get set on fire quite a bit, especially if she comes under air attack. So uh, you know, just a little bit of a defense there. Uh, which brings us to the camo. Why why do I have the historical camo? I don't usually do that. Well, it's tier eight, and you're in a light cruiser, and you have to brawl. The hipper. Um, with the 200 millimeter guns can dish out an enormous amount of damage at close range. This thing with the Nuremberg's guns, not quite the same. So especially when you're firing at battleships, um, yes, you have a better, you have a slightly better rate of fire, especially with the rapid reload active, but um, you you don't have the same amount of punch that you have with, say, a Hipper at, at close range. So I did feel that um, I really wanted this torpedo range in here and uh, get the slightly better traverse speed in as well. Uh, you don't have to have it, but I find that, especially if you get into tier 9 battles, it can get really, really tricky. Now, don't get me wrong, she's absolutely murderous against destroyers, but um, you don't always have to deal with destroyers. You have to deal with battleships, and you, you can either become... Well, you can either pretend that you're a Soviet, <laughs> you're a Soviet light cruiser, and um, you know try try to try try to do try to do the Shapai of things. But I feel like somehow her potential is wasted in that regard a little bit. So um, I play her like I would play a German heavy cruiser because that's really what she is underneath. But the guns just don't quite match up with this. So that's why I'm actually sailing with the historical camo on this. In obviously in the press account. But if I if I was getting if I was gonna get the ship on my personal and I was really gonna play her frequently, uh, this is one of those ships where the um, the historical camo is not just an afterthought but almost kind of a necessity because of things like the torpedo range and um, and the, stir, the turn time and these sort of things. Anyway, uh, let, let's go. Let's have a look. So here we are in the mines and we're playing domination on fault line. That's a lot of small islands. We've got no carrier in play, but uh, three three North Carolinas on the enemy team, uh, plus a Hipper, a Wichita, a Miyoko, and an Akatsuki. Okay, well, let's go and see what we do. Only one destroyer. Um, if we can catch him, good. But there's also a, a Hipper and a York on our teams. This is a cruiser-rich environment here, so we want to see how this how this turns out. So we're spawning over in sea. Uh, which means I'm going to rush into C. Now, one thing that I always find peculiar, you, you see that C cap on the minimap, right? General Can you see that island in the middle? Because I can't, like right where the C would be. There's an island there, right? But every time I look at the minimap, I don't see it. So anyway, um, I'll switch over to the armor piercing, obviously, and uh, rush the cap. So I'm actually going to go for that island. Now, with the one destroyer in the game, uh, she's probably not feeling too brave, <laughs> but uh, we we should be seeing should be seeing one of the cups starting to flip relatively soon. And if the Aka turns out to be coming around this corner behind that island, then I'll be waiting for her with uh, lots and lots of 150 millimeters ready. Okay. So far, no one's been capping. We're taking we're starting to take A, and um, I'm just um, rushing the cup really. Because if I can if I can make it to that island there, then I should be all good. Okay, something is in C. Is that the Akatsuki? It might be the Akatsuki. It probably is the Akatsuki. So I'm just kind of slowing down, positioning myself. So he hasn't spotted me yet. If he's smart, he knows that I'm here because he's not capping. Okay, now I'm spotted. Oh, it's the Miyoko. It's not actually the Aka. Well, okay. Have some, uh, have some uh, armor piercing then. So sonar up. Uh, in case the Miyoko has dropped torpedoes on me, which usually he would do. And there's also North Carolina, so I can't really back off too much. Okay, uh, he's been slapped a bit by the battleships. But uh, we've driven him out of the cap, so that's a good start. And uh, it looks like 3-on-3 three three right now, so there's an NC, but the NC wisely um, doesn't come around the corner, so I'm not going to drop my torpedoes on him, which is a bit of a shame, really. And there's another North Carolina, so I gotta watch out here. Again, I'm in a light cruiser, but with a hipper underneath. So I can take a little bit of a beating here. And, okay, North Carolina is probably a bit faster than that. So, yeah, I have to hit him in the bow to actually make any difference with these hundred, uh, with these 150s. Because these are literally the, these are literally tier 6 guns. I've just got more of them. 
So right now I'm shooting, I'm, I'm in Nuremberg. Oh, these are Miyoko Torps. <laughs> yeah, even with the acceleration module, you're not gonna get out of that one. Oh, okay, yeah, that, I, I've planned for that. That was all skill, no luck. <laughs> okay, we've taken the cup and we're not giving it back. Okay, so time to rush these battleships. Like, can we, can we go it out there? Well, who are they looking at? Are they looking at me? Okay, this one seems like he's looking at me. Let's see if we can hit the bow section because get rever it's reversing. Uh, yeah, that looks better. So if we can start hitting the bow section, we're starting to do some reasonable amounts of damage here. You can use the high explosive on the ship. Um, it's about as, it's about as well. It's not quite as good as high explosive on on an American light cruiser, but um, it's it's usable if you want to set fires. But right now I'm uh, you know I'm close enough that I can reasonably well aim if well if I can actually aim, I can reasonably be well aiming be aiming at the weak spots of that North Carolina. And at this point I'm, I'm just gonna rush him. So that one on the right there. Okay, he could blap me in the side, but he might be busy with the cruisers in front of me, uh, behind me. So I'm gonna rush this one. Full speed ahead. He thinks I dropped torpedoes, so he's going forward. Well, I haven't dropped torpedoes because I'm going rushing him. I mean, well, I'm just unloading into him. Okay, that's that's the Miyoko. Miyoko shots I can take. 120, uh, 200 millimeter armor piercing I can tank, especially Japanese ones. Okay, this is gonna hurt a little bit. Yep, but um, let's get the shots out. Drops in the water, and that North Carolina is very, very dead. Now let's see if I can actually turn this thing around. Come on, come on, kill him before he can reload. Okay, there we go. Uh, can I turn this? Oh, there's an island in the way. This, the, These islands are a little bit annoying because um, <laughs> this is not the most maneuverable ship out there. Oh dear, there comes the North Carolina. This is going to hurt. Ow. Yep, that hurt. <laughs> uh, now, again, German cruiser. German heavy cruiser underneath, but you still can't broadside battleships like that, at least not for long. But uh, I can survive a turn once. <laughs> So I um, want to try out the high explosive a little bit because he shot off one of, my, one of my torpedo tubes. But again, even at this range, uh, these Nuremberg guns are doing a great amount of damage. Okay, I'm going to dodge a little bit here because I don't have too much health left. What's it looking like? We seem to have lost one of our battleships over here. Do we have? There's something else. Um, I think I think it's one of the other cruisers with me in the cup here. Okay, so North Carolina can't shoot at me anymore. I can't shoot at him either because I'm not an, I'm not an American cruiser. So. Let's just dodge these Miyoko Torps. I don't need a Hydro to know that these are coming. And switch back over to the armor piercing because I'm going to be shooting up Miyoko. I don't have much health left. What's it looking? But we're holding two of the three caps and we're even on ships. Yep, so I'm going to have to dodge a little bit. Long range shots out at Miyoko. I'm not going to sit at LM from this range, but the armor piercing should still do a reasonable amount of damage. Yeah, it does. It does. And um, just keep doing this. Okay, I need to get no distance out because the North Carolina is coming up from behind. Eh, we're brawling everybody. That's what we do. Okay, again, 200 millimeter armor piercing Japanese. I can take that. And I need to get around that island, but I also have to time it such that I'm actually waiting for the North Carol shots to come through. Now that they're, now that she's fired, I can get around the island and then hopefully straighten her out before the North Carolina gets to fire again. Uh, meanwhile, keeping up, the, keeping up the pressure on the Miyoko. Okay, that should be around the island. Turn, 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 turn. Okay, 19, 1900 health. 1100 health, that is fine. <laughs> okay, uh, just gonna, no, no more broadsiding. Just gonna use the rear turrets, try to dodge the shots. Miyoko, there's the big caliber. Uh, let's get another rapid reload out. And can we kill that Miyoko still? I mean, we're not gonna take on the North Cal. 400 health, this is fine. Okay, these shots should take out the Miyoko. Can I still get him? Yes! My <laughs> from the grave, from the grave. Okay, what's it look like? We're 200 points ahead. Uh, we've done 80,000 damage, taken out, da taken down uh, a battleship and a Miyoko, so I think we've done our job here. Well, what's that hippo doing over there? Oh, he's trying to torpedo the Akatsuki, bless his heart. That's not gonna work. <laughs> Use your guns! Also, um, yeah, well, <laughs> what's that over there? Ah, uh, we got a Bismarck still in A. We're holding two caps. Uh, they don't hold the third one because they left and didn't cap out. So, okay, we're going to lose B, but we're still two, we're over 200 points ahead. So that hipper is probably going to die. But um, yeah, because he now gets sandwiched between a North Carolina that just finished me off. But um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we should have this. And the, the York's making himself useful recapping C, but it's a little bit too late. So can he survive? Oh, he survives on almost no health. <laughs> well done you and yeah that's it 
and we won. The mines. Uh, yeah, it's it's an Admiral Hipper with, with Nuremberg guns on it. Uh, personally, if I'm going out, I'm going to go in Hipper or in the Eugen, just because I absolutely adore what these 200mm guns can do to battleships at close range. With the mines, you really have to you really have to pinpoint the weak spots, and um, well, it's not always super easy. But in return, I mean, you do have a really reasonable torpedo loadout, so you can go in and roll and just drop torpedoes left and right. Because she can, for a light cruiser, well, she she is a light cruiser by designation, but she has the armor of a heavy cruiser, so she does definitely can take a little bit of a beating. But again, for me um, personally, I would probably go with the hipper. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.